the 2015 Most Promising Artist of the Year is whoever. We just treat Kolohe brothers, you know what I mean? And we're knuckleheads. Can I say that? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Um, but mahalo, 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 mahalo for supporting us. Thank you guys so much. Mahalo, thank you. We are advocates of our generation when it comes to Hawaiian music and culture and hula and to share it, but it's something that we take on together. We played a, at a party and they asked what was the name of our group. And we told them, just call us whoever. And at first, it was just to mean whoever, I mean, just whoever's oh, playing. Nice. And when we thought about it, I said, hey, you know what, it's actually, it has a good ring to it. So we went and did our homework, and who is to hum or to make sound, to make music, and ever is to go off course or to find your own path. And I said, that's, that's perfect. We make music on our own path, on a different style. So that's how we came up with the name, whoever. The first song that we decided to do was Hey It is actually the foundation song of, of our group. It's the first song that we ever arranged together. And it's good fun, it's a kolohe song. The hidden meaning behind it, which is kona, mm -hmm. you know, if you find that love, that, that one, there's no other that could compare to it. The way the sun will glisten on her hair or her skin, or you know, something like that. It's the, the sheer beauty of, of one's, uh, one's love. around Hawaiian music and hula and different styles. We pull from all these different influences and we help fuse them into the kind of music that we want to create. We do have to take into consideration um, the song and where it comes from and the background and the kauna behind the song. There is still that foundation of tradition that needs to be upheld. Hello, Kalikopuo Kalania Kill. That is my auntie Kapua Deliri Moyes. Hello. She's like, Do you guys need dancers? And I was like, Of course we do. <laughs> Nihau is known as the Forbidden Islands in Hawaii. It speaks of the shells that grow there. And because the shells grow in, in fresh water and then are pushed down into the ocean, when the salt hits it, it puts this glistening glow on the shells. 
it was just an honor to have my auntie grace the stage with us dancing. Medley featuring all of our favorite songs. So Kikoa's favorite song was Kala no Molokai. I chose that song because it takes you to Molokai, which is um, actually where my mother's family is from, and it's uh, my second home, the beautiful Kalamaula, where the freshwater springs are. So it's it's a very special song to me. My song was Pao Liko Kalehua. When I met up with Kikoa and Kahi, they're like, "Do you sing?" And I'm like, "No." And they tell me, "Here's Pao Liko Kalehua." So Kahi would sing one verse, and he would make me mimic him. No, okay, wait. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, do it, do it, do it. No, no, you're wrong. And we're over there having vocal classes, and it's like... In the bathroom yeah, in of the, bathroom, the hotel like, room. Yeah, like, it's like 11 o'clock at night. We just finished our gig, and we're having vocal lessons. <laughs> <laughs> it's really grown, and even till today, when he still sings it, there'll be little pieces of the song where he'll just he'll try something different, or he'll make a different like, sound. A little twist. Too. Yeah, he'll put a little <laughs> twist on it, and it's like, wow. And then Kahi's song was... Meliana E. 
my auntie Nani and she taught me that song that just became one of my favorite songs. She just told me, no, you gotta do it like this, do it like this. At a point I got her where she just sat back and she's like, that's Meliane. To me, that was like a big relief off my shoulders. Like, yes, okay, I mean, I, I wanna share that with them.
from home for so long and not seeing home you know you only have this visual in your head of what the island looks like you know how the slope used to look the Kipuupu mountain range the rain will never fall straight down and you always see it drop to the side I wrote about that and I wrote about this really strong mana that always pulls me back it was very emotional I remember sitting at my house and I was writing like this I started to cry my tear fell straight like this and it went straight to the side. That's when I said, oh my God. I said, this is like Kipuupu. I said, like, the mist that falls. I said, it falls diagonally. And before you know it, I had a song.
Hula is a beautiful art form. And when we sing for Halau or Hula dancer, we're helping them tell their story. Makiai Lana talks about this little island, Okaleo Okavai. It says, when you stand on the two different sides of the island and you call out to each other, the sound doesn't just carry, it crawls across the water. It's one of my tutu's favorite songs, one of my auntie's favorite songs, and if I ever messed up on it, they come running after me. Kubua 
Sometimes what we'll do too is you'll see us play barefoot. That's one thing, we'll, we'll roll up in our nice shoes and whatever and you'll see us untying it and flipping it off and we'll play barefoot. Just because we rather feel the stage. We like to be grounded, you know, we like to Remember where we came from. Remember the color that comes out through the ground. We're brothers. You know, we met each other as just friends, and our bond grew into a brotherhood. We just three knuckleheads <laughs> and love to play music. <laughs> This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.